I'm back out in the lakes again today and what we're going to do this time is head up towards Cold Pike and then hopefully up onto Crinkle Crags. We've done Crinkle Crags before and we've walked up this valley loads of times. Some might say too many times because this is the way that I normally come up to Pike of Blisco. Not really done it this year but last winter we did it quite a few times. But what we're doing is basically just following this path up then the path goes through the middle of this valley this is Pike of Blisco and I always walk up there and then look across this way and this one is just stood there teasing you so what we're going to do this time is I think once we get to Red Town we can sort of go up the side here and we're going to stand on this one's head and take that off the list which wheel do you rather go? Do you to go straight up them screets? Do you not look straight up or? Like the zigzag up, go slightly gentler. Left. You? Yep. Yeah. The path goes that way, but I won't scramble at that. Okay. We're almost up at the top now, and haven't really stopped for pictures, haven't really talked today, not really been in the talking mood. I just wanted to disappear. I've been working quite a lot lately and not been up on the mountains quite as much as I'd like to be. So now I'm here, I want to go for the more fun stuff. There was some quite nice tarns down there, but wasn't feeling it. What I want to do is climb up here and get the view from the top. You coming up this way as well? Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> Is this the top? Them ones look bigger. Okay. Them ones over there look bigger. Okay. That one's higher, isn't it? Yeah, that one's higher. So the footpath was right. The footpath was right. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I just like to climb up here. Apparently, the footpath at the bottom was there for a reason. This isn't the top, so we're going to have to drop back down there and then climb up onto these ones here but that was pretty fun and we've got some great views you can look across to the Langdale Pikes uh, Pike of Blisco Red Tarn so that's the Langdale Pikes that's Pike of Blisco Red Tarn um, I think this is Weatherlam the Coniston Range Seaplate Valley so you can see Heart of Fell there then you can see Crinkle crags off in the distance with Bowfell off to the right. This looks more like it. It's like a proper cairn, isn't it? We made it across that other mound and we think this is the top of um, Cold Pike, but the view was better from that other one and the other one was more fun. This is just a like a barring path quite easy to get to whereas that one had a scramble and I don't know you have to earn it a bit more on that one and it had bigger drops but from here you can get the view across the crinkle crags so I think what we're going to do is drop down to that path then head up there I will probably work out where we are later on but right now it doesn't matter at all I just wanted to climb up onto these ones and that's what we've done Windy. 
I always like this bit. I like all the jagged rocks and got the Langdale back there. I think we'll go a quick portrait shot there. So we're going to use this polarizer just to get rid of some of the glare and bring out the blues. Also going to use this uh, lens hood just to block the sun out a bit. And then I want to get this big drop down here. I'm not sure how bad it looks on the GoPro, but it just drops straight down and you got some dark shadows in here, then a light area back there. There's some nice light on the top of this rock as well. Yeah, I think that works. I think that's actually going to work really nice. With my eyes, it looks a bit flat and boring, but through the camera with the polarizer, that's oh fuck, that actually looks quite good. Dad, that's that rock I made you sit on. We've made it across to the furthest part of our walk now, on the like third crinkle. Not sure what they're called, but we're getting some nice views across to Scarfell and Bowfell, and I'll show you them now. This one here, that's Scarfell, that's second highest in England. That's Scarfell Pike, the highest. We went there a few weeks ago. I'll link that video down below. And then you got Bowfell here. I quite like this one. It's a sort of a pyramid shape, and you can see all the gullies on this side here. And I think what we're going to do is shelter behind these rocks because the wind is coming towards me. So we're going to have dinner there. And then I think I want to get a picture of Bowfell and then the Scarfell range. Just coming to the shelter for dinner and some clouds are rolled in just below Bowfell. So I'm going to go for a portrait shot, get the clouds shadows in the bottom. Then you get the ridges, the light fingers. And then you got a really blue sky above with a bright white cloud. And I think it's going to contrast quite nicely. It's quite hazy today. So the colors aren't popping out quite as much, but it's still pretty. I think it's just going to be looking for them little details. So I'm going to have the cameras ready, then have sandwiches. And then if something pops out then I'm ready to just make the most of it. I did that one with a sprained ankle. <laughs> That's awful. We've had dinner now and I've been running around on these rocks and over on them ones over there getting views over to Bowfell and the hazy view over to Scarfell as well and I think the ones at Bowfell are my favourite. It's been a bit more moody over there like you can see the shadows and all the light spots there. The sun is trying to make an appearance as well and it's quite nice when it does but it's some little details that are making all the difference I think. So. I think what we're going to do now is head back the way that we just came up. So I don't think I'm going to video that bit. I kind of want to just go back to messing around and playing on the rocks because I don't know, I've been enjoying that. That's one of the reasons I like coming up onto the mountains, but cold fell. It was all right. Um, if I was coming up onto Crinkle Crags again, I'd probably do that. I'm not sure if I'd go just to cold fell though. It was. There's a lot of small turns, there were some nice drops, so maybe I just had the wrong light for it. That's the same for everywhere though, really. This is a lot better when it's really clear, because you can see all the fells off in the distance, and the Scarfell range will be even sharper. So this is the Scarfell range here. It's got some light spots and shadows again, but it's just a lot softer in comparison to the Bowfell range. So I think what I want to do is head up onto the tops and get some more views of this area here. 
because there's a big bank of clouds that are rolling in so i think we could get some nicer light soon but i'll put them pictures on to the end but if you want to see more places like this to go to for photography in the lake district i've got guides over on my website you can see what views you get at the location which map you need how difficult it is i probably class this as moderate i was having trouble deciding how to categorize those because this wasn't difficult but at the same time it wasn't easy it's sort of that middle ground so this will give you an idea of what they're like but let me know what you think if there's any way that you want to see them let me know but hope you like the video and i'll see you in the next one